Welcome to the first of a series of short services of Compline, that's night prayer, to mark the days of Holy Week, which began with this morning as we had the Palm Sunday procession. And now this is Sunday evening. And we're going to read some of the events in Luke's Gospel between Palm Sunday and Good Friday. Please would you join in this service. You can either just read the words as they come up on the screen or you can share them out loud. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Our reading from Luke 19 is the uh, continuation of the story we read this morning. It begins at verse 41. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognised on this day the things that make for peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the day will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another. Because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard.
And so as we continue in prayer, you may like to pause this video for your own prayers. For those who are on a journey and coming near to the end of their earthly journey. Father, may they know the comfort of your presence. Father, for those who have lost their way and cannot get out of the mess they've got themselves into, search for them and carry them home. For those whose lives are at a crossroads with important decisions, Father, counsel them and show them the way. For your faithfulness and your constant love, Jesus, as we journey, you are our strength and our song. True and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.